Hey guys, today I have a first slash second impression to share with you of the hashtag lip hug lipsticks from Makeup Revolution and they come in this gorgeous red boxes, really sleek tubes and they just twist up. And I say first slash second impressions because I tried to do this video before and I did it quite late at night and um, it was a bit of a fade to black situation. I'm slowly fading to black here and um, also I didn't have all the lipsticks at the time. I originally purchased these um, in a 15% off sale that the website was having and then they also had a 10% off sale a week later for people who are subscribed to their newsletters so I would recommend subscribing to Makeup Revolution's newsletter. They are a worldwide shipping company so doesn't matter where you live, they can probably send it to you, so it's worthwhile subscribing to their newsletter if you like the look of their products. Um, so yeah, they had a 10% off sale and I managed to pick up the rest of the lipsticks in the collection, so I have them all here in this little basket and I'm gonna put them all on and tell you what I think of them. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna start with the nude shades. First is When You Came To Me. And this is what it looks like. And I can already tell you that I'm getting a better impression of these now in the daylight. In the half dark is like not a good time to try on lipstick for the first time. This is much nicer. I'm totally digging this colour. It's like a salmon-y pink nude. I really like it. Next is Love Can Set You Free. This actually almost reminds me of Clarins Nude Rose, which is awesome. But it's really really pretty. It's got kind of like 90s pink vibe going on with it. Really really nice. And I will say that these don't really have too much of a smell to them and they feel really good on the lips. Next is Not Giving Up. This one's a bit more of a corally nude. It's um, quite a sheer colour. I mean, most of them have a sheerness to them, but this one is quite sheer. Um, but again, it's it's not an offense. It's an inoffensive color. It's nothing out there or anything, but it's a great wearable shade. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. Next is Save Me From Yourself. This is a bit of like a burnt peach shade. It borders on terracotta, but it's definitely more of a peach. I do quite like this actually. It'd be nice, it's a nice summer shade. Especially if you're like into darker nude shades. And I think this one would be worth checking out. Next is We Have Come Too Far. This is something a bit different. It's a bit of a um, a coppery rose shade. It kind of reminds me of um, like raisin frost, no copper frost from Revlon, but a cream formula. Quite nice. Then something a bit different. I think this is more of like an autumn nude shade. And lastly, for the nudes, is I think you're amazing. This one is definitely more of a terracotta nude, maybe a sienna. Not quite my cup of tea, but it is appealing. It's not some. It's like I don't hate it, but it's not something I think I would wear an awful lot. Next, I have the two sort of orangier shades. 
Um, first is Good Fun. It just looks like this. This is one I haven't tried before. That's really freaking pretty. Oh wow. Sorry I stopped for a moment. I swear I heard the buzzing of a wasp. I think I was hearing things. I hope I was hearing things. But back to the lipstick. I'm just going to come right out and say I don't know if I like this one. Maybe if I was like super pale. I've got a bit of self tan on at the moment so maybe if I was super pale this might look nicer. Um, but at the moment I just think it makes my teeth look really yellow. I don't know like it's weird, right? The more I'm working it into my lips, the more I'm kind of liking it. It's kind of got that sort of... It's really out there. It's not something I'm used to and that's probably what's wrong. But... I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I'll try it out a few times and see what I think. I mean, it's not like, God, get this off me, but... It's not like, oh, it's my new fave either. Let me know what you think. I need second opinion, people. I need a second opinion. <laughs> Next we have Let's Raise the Bar. And this one's more of a, a full orange. You know, I wasn't that keen on this when I tried it on in the dark either, and um, I'm not that keen on it now. Um, yeah. Not liking Let's Raise the Bar. It's a bit too... I don't know. It's got that sort of jelly look to it, almost like it's above the lip, suspended in clearness. Um, not liking it. Not liking this one at all. That one I might have to go. Next I have the pink shades. And I'm going to start with Insatiable because I know this is the darkest one. And this is Insatiable. And then we're back on with the good colours. This is a nice kind of rose shade. I love rose lipstick. And this is pretty. It's so pretty. Next is Want to Leave. Again, this is not one I've tried before. I love Barbie bubblegum pinks like this. Not the kind of thing I, I reach for a lot. I do have to be in the right mood for them. But this is pretty. It is really pretty. It's like mood boosting kind of lipstick. Yeah, I quite like this one. Next is She's Up All Night. This one is very 80s, I will say that. The only thing is missing is a pearlized finish. And we've got a genuine 80s lip going on here. I quite like that it's got a purple undertone to it. Um, I think if I were to exaggerate that purpleness a little bit more, then I think I would like it better. And my hair is fucking me right now. There we go, that'll do. But overall, I quite like it. What y'all think? I like it. Lastly for pinks is Present Has No Living. And this one looks a little scary. Let's just, let's just take a moment and fix 
what's going on on top of my head here. It's pissing me off. There we go, better. Oh my god, this is like Club Kid highlighter pink. You know, I actually think I can pull this off. Definitely not something I'd wear to work. But in like everyday kind of thing, I think I could really pull this off. Maybe not with gold eyeshadow though. <laughs> but yeah. I like that it has a good purple base to it. Um, I'm a very big fan of pur pinks with purple bases in case you can't tell. I got an RT. Ick. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one. <laughs> Next I have the berries and the one purple. Um, I will start with the purple one. And this is called I Wasn't Mixed Up. And this is very similar to Liberty from the Iconic Pro range. Um, let's see. Throw it on and see. I actually kind of like this one. Like when I tried it on in the dark, I was like, mmm, shady. And, um, but it actually looks really good. It works really well in this formulation. It kind of reminds me of a deeper version of the lilac shade from Barry M. This is something I could see myself wearing. I like me, I like this one. Next is Keeps the Planet Spinning. That's what the sun looks like. And this is more of a really a soft berry look. My application is horrendous, I apologise. Um, I quite like it. it. I can't quite tell the undertone in it. I can't tell if it's more of a... It's definitely a brown undertone, but I can't tell if it's more of a wine berry or a raisin berry. But it's definitely something that I, I would get a lot of wear out of in the winter. It's like a winter nude. Next we have To Get Lucky. Again a nice sort of wearable berry shade. Very very fall appropriate. It has a bit of a terracotta undertone, undertone to it. Almost like a rusty sort of berry shade. Again, one that catalog wear out of. And lastly for the berry shades is Saviour Will Come. And I think this one is the most brown out of them all. This is like a really deep raisiny colour. I like this one. It's 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 got a bit of a vampiness to it that I really like. Next onto the reds, first we have Who We Are, which I featured in my last makeup basket. So you know what I think about this one. I knew even when I tried this on in the dark, it was going to be one of my new favourite reds. Um, it's got this gorgeous cleanness to it and it's beautiful and high shine and it's the kind of one that, the kind of red that will look stunning against the tan in summer and just glorious on, on really pale skin in the winter. Super happy about this one. Next is I Am Ready.
Again, this has the same beautiful high shine, but is a more cool toned, a more blue toned red, so it would suit a, a different side of skin tones. Again, this would look glorious in the summer and glorious in the winter. It's a nice sort of snow white red, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm really happy. So far I'm actually really impressed with these lipsticks, they're around 250 a pop, um, but with Makeup Revolution don't don't bother purchasing them full price. Um, even though they're cheap enough, just wait for a discount code and you, you can get like 10, 15, 20% off. So it might be worth signing up for their newsletter for that kind of thing. I will link the website in the info box if you want to have a look. Like with the Iconic Pro lipsticks, I am going to do a more in-depth review in about a month or so. I just want to kind of road test them a little bit further and, you know, gauge how they actually wear and perform and that kind of thing. And I will let you know a final sort of a verdict in about a month or so. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're enjoying these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below and I will carry on doing them because I really enjoy it. It's quite fun. Just putting on lipstick, even just to take it off again. I just like putting on pretty colours. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.